All of the cells in the multicellular organism, like flies, contain the same DNA. This means that somewhere in the development of the organism, cells differentiate to obtain properties of different organs in the body. This is done thanks to asymmetries established by chemical gradients in the embryo. In other words, concentrations of certain chemicals will vary spatially throughout the embryo, and the presence in high enough levels of these close to a cell will influence what kind of cell it becomes. Let's try our best to model this process using just diffusion. In fact, Francis Crick was the first to propose a diffusive model as a plausible way of setting up these gradients. His model was effectively the heater diffusion equation, which we derived earlier for Brownian motion. That is, du dt equals d times uxx, where d is the diffusion constant. Crick noticed that after some time, the spatial profile would stop changing. When this happens, the second derivative is equal to zero, and thus by differentiating twice, we obtain that the spatial profile of U will be a line. To visualize Crick's model, imagine an embryo as a one-dimensional line of cells, where we set the concentration at x equals zero to be U0, and the concentration at the end of the embryo, x equals L, to be zero. It turns out that diffusion alone does not get the correct chemical gradient. Crick had no way of knowing this at the time, but the chemical gradient of most of these resemble exponential decay curves. An example of this is bicoid. Bicoid is one of the chemical gradients that will determine whether a cell becomes part of the head or part of the body. The bicoid chemical gradient has been closely modeled by a reaction diffusion model that incorporates not only a diffusion term, but also a degradation and production term, with tau and rho being the biological time constants. Note that rho is a function of space since bicoid is only produced at the zero end of the embryo. As a result, diffusion and reactions when put together can help model phenomena in nature that have both a spatial component such as asymmetries in the distribution of a chemical, but also local reactive components like the production and degradation of bicoid.